That's a perfect Billy Joel song, Color of Rosé. So this is Welch's Rosé Sparkling. Um, Welch's is a company originally founded in 1869 uh, by a minister turned dentist named Thomas Bramwell Welch. Um, I guess he was a teetotaler, uh, someone who, you know, despises alcohol. And because he was a minister, you know, that whole communion stuff where you have the, the bread and the wine for the, the body of Christ and the blood of him. Um, but he didn't want his followers to drink wine, so he came up with a pasteurized grape uh, drink, if you will, and he tried to use that to his uh, followers, I guess, and tried to sell it. And I guess he eventually became a dentist later on. Um, Welch's is pretty well known, I guess, in the U.S. for their jams, juices, fruit snacks. Uh, however, in Japan, they have partnered with Asahi. And unlike Welch's in the U.S., they are very limited in what they offer. They have the four horsemen that they have available year-round. That's a grape, pink grapefruit, white grape, and orange. And the other stuff is a rotating list of seasonal fruits, like this rosé blend. That's the uh, positive way of spinning it. The cynic in me is thinking they had a batch of grape left and they had a batch of white grape at the end. You know, they uh, kind of combined the two bottom of the barrel fruits, slapped in some sugar, put in a little soda, and then they call it rosé. But who knows? Anyway, moving on to the ingredients list. Let's see. The ingredients are listed in descending order. Thing listed first is a larger percentage of drink. And this doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it, actually. It has, it's got a lot of sugar, though. Uh, you got three different types of sugar. You have domestic high fructose corn syrup, so frock you. You have plain old sugar, and then you have uh, sucrose? No, glucose. You have glucose. That's great. Three types of sugar. Diabetes. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, then you have grapes. You have carbonation, acidulant, and fragrance. Uh, moving on to the caloric information, this guy is a 450 ml bottle, so it's about 15.8 fluid ounces. It's 234 calories, that's a lot. That might as well be a full calorie Coke. Uh, zero grams of protein, zero grams of fat, 58.5 grams of carbohydrates. That's just, mmm, a bottle of diabetes. All right, and then 0 0.045 grams of salt and 22.5 to 130.5 milligrams of polyphenols from the grapes, I guess. All right, let's give it a whirl. I'm assuming it's gonna taste good because it has a lot of sugar in it. I really do mean it, you know, it does make the medicine go down. Yeah, looking like rosé wine, I guess. Kind of a, a blend of red grapes and white grapes and ooh, that's quite fragrant you know fragrance is the last thing listed on it so i guess a little goes a long way anyway bottoms up wow that's really palatable that's really good i i guess i really like sugar um yeah it's a nice blend of you know concord like grapes, I guess. I don't know what specific red grapes they use, but red grapes and, and white. It's it's a beautiful blend of the two. But it's quite subtle. It's not overpowering. And, yeah. It is a limited time drink, so I don't know how much more I can find it. But if you can find it, give it a chance. Alright, until next time. The drinks on me.